Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's quick and clear tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the complete process of creating a custom 2x6 foot banner in Canva that you can easily print at Walgreens. Plus, I'll show you an optional tip if you want to add foam board for extra sturdiness. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to design a professional-looking banner, perfectly sized and print ready, whether it's for a birthday, graduation, business event, or anything else. So let's jump right in and get started. First things first, head over to Canva.com. If you've never used Canva before, don't worry, it's a super user-friendly platform for designing just about anything. Once you're signed in, look for the bold Create a Design button at the top right corner. This is where all your creative projects begin. Click on that. Now we're not using the standard pre-made sizes because for a banner we need something much bigger and very specific. So right after clicking Create a Design, select Custom Size. Here, where you'll want to be careful, set the dimensions to 24 by 72 inches. To put it in perspective, that's 2 feet tall by 6 feet wide, a classic banner size that Walgreens can print. Double check that your units are set to inches, not pixels or centimeters, otherwise your design will come out way too small or the wrong proportions. Once you're in your blank canvas, it might look a little intimidating because it's so big and empty. Don't worry, that just means you have plenty of room to get creative. If you're making a birthday banner, for example, try typing Happy Birthday in Canva's template search bar at the side. This will bring up tons of colorful, pre-made designs you can use as a starting point. Pick a style that catches your eye and suits your occasion. Templates are really useful because they instantly add structure and aesthetic, but you can absolutely tweak every element to make it your own. Speaking of making it your own, here's your chance to have some fun with fonts, colors, and decorative elements. You might want to add balloons, confetti photos, or even inside jokes for an extra personalized touch. Drag in some elements from Canva's library or maybe even upload your own images or logos if it's for a business. The idea is to layer in the details that make your banner stand out, not just visually, but in meaning. It's like decorating a cake, the base is simple, but the finishing touches are what make it memorable. At this point, take a moment to look at the overall layout. Since banners are most often displayed horizontally, we need to make sure our design is oriented correctly. Look for the rotate option, usually you'll find it above the canvas or in the menu bar and spin your design to landscape if it's not already. Trust me, printing in the right orientation will save a lot of headaches later, and you won't have words running the wrong way across your banner. Once your design looks great, it's time to save your work and get it ready for Walgreens. Click the share button in the top right and choose download. Now a little tip here, select the PNG format, but be careful not to set your file size too large. If you export an ultra high res file, Walgreens might not accept the upload or it could slow things down significantly. Stick to Canva's default size unless you know Walgreens requirements call for something different. When your file is ready and downloaded, head over to the Walgreens Photo website, find their banner or poster printing section, and upload your PNG. Their site will walk you through selecting materials and sizes. You can even add a foam board backing if you want your banner to stand upright or last a little longer outdoors. That's it. Your custom banner will be ready for pickup, and you'll be all set for your event. If any part of the process felt confusing, don't stress. Just rewind and follow along, and you'll get the hang of it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button, drop your questions, or share your project ideas in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more easy-to-follow creative guides. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your next eye-catching banner.